back in 2000, came straight back home. My lovely daughter, Lizzie, um, she's 15, and the only reason she's here today and not in school is because all my employees are sick. So I did take her out of school. My sister's here with me today in support, Terry. Uh, her and her husband own Parker Hill Land Management. Um, we are so excited to be here today. Um, the business opened three years ago in May, May of this year. And we have been nonstop the whole time, um, really nonstop. Um, we are moving into pre-orders and going into stores and uh, uh, other, other businesses. And um, we are really uh, happy with events and fundraisers. So you may see the storefront with just a couple days because when we're in there, we'll be in there. But the storefront is, is kind of, uh, it's, it's not phasing out, but we've got so much else going on that we love pre-orders <laughs> so that when you want something, you can come in and get what you want. Um, um, I want to thank my mother, who is Marilyn's Macaroni and Cake, the $300 cake, the money-back guarantee cake, her famous macarons. Um, if you haven't tried them, uh, you really should. They're fabulous. Um, she's not here today. She's in Georgia, and I want to thank... Uh, my cousin, Amy, she does a lot of the treats that we sell in the shop, the hillbilly brittle, um, haystacks, just the treats, the bombs. Um, I want to thank the chamber. These guys are amazing. Um, soon after we opened, the COVID hit, and we immediately went with porch drop-off. I was the only one baking in the kitchen to keep it sanitary. No one was allowed in, and we powered through. And I know I don't answer a lot of the emails or come to a lot of the coffees, but I pay attention and I read the emails. And these people, I love Star and, and Diane and all the ladies here and gentlemen. Um, the Chamber, can we give them a hand? We are so lucky to the Chamber. Um, I also want to thank Reasonable Downtown Merchants, uh, head up by Amy at, from the Trading Post. Um, we've got some new life here in the Downtown Merchants. And... Uh, we really appreciate y'all shopping local and shopping first here. It means a lot to us. It literally pays um, ballet lessons. <laughs> um, and I just, I told you about the menu. We do keto, gluten-free, no sugar, sugar-free. I take the dietary needs very uh, seriously. My dad was a diabetic. My cousin uh, has celiac disease. Um, I don't eat sugar. <laughs> but it is delicious. So thank, thank y'all for coming out today. Thank you for supporting Kelly's Kitchen. I see several people in here that have played serious, serious mentoring roles for me from business to gro grocery shopping to presentation. I learned so much from a gentleman. Um, who I will not call his name, but he means the world to me, and he um, was a real catalyst in starting the business, along with uh, a wonderful name, uh, Anna. Hey, Anna. Um, the pie, Southern Pecan, is still number one seller. Okay, so y'all please, please come eat. Me and my daughter didn't work three days for nothing. So <laughs> thank you. I'll turn this back over to Diane. Thank you very much for letting me come today. <laughs> about the 9 a.m. time, but the last two coffees have proven that that is not going to be an issue. So thank you all for coming. 
Um, we have a lot to go over because it's time again. We're doing a lot of events, but also we have a lot of new folks. And I do not want to leave anybody out. Please don't be shy because I cannot remember all the names and all the things. And Denise and I have been furiously writing, but I, I don't want to leave anybody. So if I call out a category that you fit into, please raise your hand and I'll try to go around the room in order. Um, so we're going to start with um, new members since last coffee. So if you are representing one of these new members, when I say the name, please raise your hand so that you can introduce yourself. Um, Rise Up Professional Services, if you were here last month, you know that Mary Carmen was here and she said she was joining and she did so that very day right after coffee. So she's a new member. Um, Wysong, we are really excited to have them. If you're not familiar with them, they're in Brown Summit, one of our industries um, that is working really closely with the Reedsville community. A lot of their employees are from Reedsville. Um, they're a really great little industry. They do not have a lot of turnover, and I do believe that that's because of how they treat their employees and how they run their business. But they are working closely with RCC and trying to learn more about apprenticeship opportunities and things that they can do. Um, so we're excited. You know, there's not um, there's a couple of areas that we reach that really aren't covered by another chamber because they're kind of just out in, in the county, whether it be Rockingham or Guilford, and we've started to really grow and absorb those folks, so we're excited to welcome them. Um, our next new member is Catherine Church Insurance. A lot of you know Catherine. She's been an ambassador with us for a long time with more than one member she has represented at times, um, but she is stepping out and continuing to do all the things that she does, but stepping out into a new role. So Catherine, you wanna tell us about that? Yeah, so um, I'm an independent Medicare and life insurance agent, uh, probably the newest in the county. My dad has been doing this since I was one year old. So if you do the math, he is approaching retirement age. Um, <laughs> so in the next few years, he'll retire, and during the pandemic, he just proposed an idea of me getting licensed and um, taking over the business because since we are independent um, with Medicare, we represent um, Aetna, Humana, United Healthcare, Health Team Advantage here locally, um, and with life insurance, obviously that applies to every age, um, and even Medicare. If you've been on disability for more than two years, you don't have to be 65 to enroll in that. So we have a lot of options. Um, he's kind of on the western part of the county, so I'm kind of taking over the, the eastern part here in Reedsville. So if you know anybody that needs Medicare or has questions, because there's a lot of questions, a lot of confusion, um, then I'll be glad to help. And if I don't know the answers, then I know my daddy's been doing this for my whole life to help. But thank you so awesome. much. And I'm glad to be a member of, like, not just representing other people, but representing <laughs> myself. Now. That's right. Can you tell them what the chamber did for you just very recently? Yes. So back in 2019 at the golf tournament, um, I won the grand prize for the travel voucher. So it was a $1,500 voucher. I think I bought, I don't know, $60 worth of tickets, mm -hmm. won the voucher. Y'all know pandemic hit the next year, so I didn't get to use it. And then finally got to use it the last couple weeks. And I went to Hawaii. So, um, so we tried to do like a Zoom call whatever. It didn't work out because of the time difference. But um, so I appreciate what you guys do because I'm sure in some way that contributed to me. And uh, if you are friends with me on Facebook, you can go and look at the hundreds of pictures and videos that I posted. <laughs> so I wanted people to live with me. I did it in a camper van. So I was really, like sleeping on the beach. It was crazy. It was awesome. So she had an amazing adventure, y'all. Like once in a lifetime. Um, Showcase Magazine, we're really excited about this opportunity. Um, Lee Vogler is a Danville City Councilman. I don't know how many of you um, might know him, but the city, we're working with them really closely. His wife, Blair, um, works here at NEPM, has been here forever and ever and ever. So y'all might know them. They have a reasonable presence, but he is also um, affiliated with the Showcase Magazine, which he operates out of Danville, and um, our area is a part of that. So they have joined the chamber, and they want to be more involved. and want to feature some reasonable things in there. So... Be on the lookout for that. Um, food line, um, that's another one of those corporate was like, you gotta find out what you gotta do. You gotta get involved in the community because we need help and we need ties to the community. So all three stores um, have joined. Um, the lady who works here regionally is super nice. She's been by here, I don't know, three or four times already and she's posted some jobs. Our job posting site is really blowing up. Matter of fact, Edward came by yesterday and he immediately went back and got, he's looking for some help. Um, we'll introduce him in a few minutes, but um, there is a ton of uh, job postings on there. So y'all be sure to be sharing that when you hear people looking um, or trying to, to get those all listed there. Triad Outlaws. Who knows about the Triad Outlaws? Does anybody in this room know about them? Sure. 
Like the license. <laughs> <laughs> and an official. Yeah. Nobody has heard of them, really? Well, this, this is exciting. You're, you're all breaking news here. They are a um, semi pro, right? <laughs> Professional uh, semi pro football team located here in Reedsville. Um, they had two games left the last time we talked about it, so maybe one game yeah, left at this point. But they actually play um, here in Reedsville. And they are growing, and they're trying to um, get more people to come out to the games and get more involved. And um, they're just – they're some really um, super cool guys, but I think that if you enjoy football, you would enjoy this. So be on the lookout. We put out their schedule in the email newsletter. I believe it was for the first time last week. Um, so you can go back and look at that and check that out. Um, Cynthia Bolton, DDS. So I believe Sherry Coles are with – there you are, right in front of me. That's why I missed you. You want to tell us a little bit about – what you all are doing? Um, I represent Dr. Cynthia Bolton's office. She's a local dentist um, here at the intersection of Richardson and Maine. Um, she has practiced here. She's practiced dentistry for 27 years, I believe it is. Um, she was a hygienist prior to that. Um, she bought that practice from Dr. Daniel. And she, I've been with, I'm a hygienist with her. I've been with her for 15 years. Um, she has taken new patients. Um, she's the most gentle dentist ever. Um, so it is, it is. Very laid back, great bedside manner. So anybody looking for a dentist or new hygienist, we'd love to have you. Awesome, thank you. And let's see, Knowles Management and Rentals. I'm going to put you on the spot, Eden. You want to talk about that for me? Please. Yes, I can say a little bit. I don't do property management. I'm going to. That's why I want I you to sales. say you do it. Um, speak yes. the difference. Yes. So Knowles Property Management is its own entity and company. Sometimes it gets confusing because we are under one roof, but they do have a separate number and they are a separate entity. They manage all of the um, rentals for our company. So any rental needs that you have, go see them. They're great. Um, they're very thorough and try and great rentals um, by encouraging owners to keep them up to date and just doing some repairs um, that keep them hey. nice. So if you know of anybody that needs rentals, go see them. And I asked Eden to speak on that because she's a board member. Um, and we had this discussion previous to the coffee. Um, Denise came to me and said, they're going to join as a separate entity because they are a separate entity and people get really confused and they call the salespeople all the time. So this is a great time to say, if you know folks looking for rentals, and we get that call a lot, um, we can be sure to give them the correct number. But that is very um, good to know, and thank you, Eden, for telling us about that. Also, um, I believe yesterday, our last new member that joined was the Boardwalk Baker. Some of you may know her, Abby Carter, um, who owned Aspen and Wentworth, and she went to culinary school in Myrtle Beach, and she came back. And so you have to call her to order. She does not have a retail store, so she has joined also. Um, we also have some prospective members. So, Terry, there you are. You want to tell us about why, who you're representing today? Well, today I'm representing Farmer Hill Land Management. Um, we're a full-service land management company specializing in grading, land clearing, erosion control, driveway installations and repair. We've been in business for about three years now. We started right before COVID as well. So, uh, things are going really well this year. So, that's great. Y'all give us a call. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Also, I believe Rick McKinney is Rick still here. Yeah, right. right there you are. See, y'all keep being right in front of my face. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I'm here representing North Carolina Biohazard and Chemical Cleanup. I know that's a mouthful, but essentially what it is is any biohazard or chemical cleanup um, that could be an unattended death, uh, unfortunately, homicides, suicides. Uh, if Let's say an office has a COVID positive test and they want to disinfect, we could come in and do something like that. Anything uh, in a hospital that might need extra cleanup or any kind of specific code or law, um, OSHA certification, we can handle all those needs. But we're new and we're about to start uh, really pushing forward, but we, we're looking forward to joining the chamber. Sure you do. Just Thank you for being here. Um, and we did announce all state that Dwayne had sold his business um, at the last coffee, but Edward is here. Do you just want to say? Who yeah, are? my name is Ed, Ed Prairie. <laughs> I'm the new all state agency owner, and it's on Richardson <clears throat> Drive. And I'm hiring licensed sales professionals if anyone knows of anyone interested. Please call. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so also, I know we have several folks who have never been to a coffee, and I'm just trying to get through you through this list. Um, anybody else who is either representing a new company or who has not been here? Yes, yes, that's right. And I have been previously, though. I don't know if you remember me from Only yes. Brow Boutique. Yes. Um, so I've been in healthcare for 20 years, and the pandemic has been a catalyst for change, and so I license this year and have joined Remax Realty Consultants with Frank Burry and uh, we are working in the uh, Rockingham County area. Let's see, anybody else? Wes, have you been to, you've been to coffee before, right? That's what I thought. Just before the pandemic. So it's like yeah, well, so you know what? It's all yeah. fresh. Go yeah. right for it. You can tell people who you are. I'm Wes Pitts. I'm the pastor at First Presbyterian. Uh, I got us to rejoin the chamber after, how long was our after? Oh, yeah. gosh. Not in my time. I mean, I've been here 11 years. It was a long absence. Uh, as soon as I came uh, into town um, and was really looking forward to getting inactive, and then the, the pandemic uh, did not help. So uh, I'm looking forward to be being here, present in the community, doing whatever I can. Uh, and I lived in Statesville before and was uh, very active there. So looking forward to me personally and then our church also becoming more of a Whatever. <laughs> I think one of the things that we discussed from my previous life as a health educator, so I had a little bit of a change long before the pandemic, but I was glad I wasn't in that field when it hit. Um, one of the things that we discussed about the churches and the faith-based community being more involved because there is a tie to the business community and they do play um, a really important part of how things work. So we are very excited. We have a lot more churches that are getting involved and um, just trying to reach people in different ways. So thank you for that. We do better when everyone else does better. So. That's right. That's right. Also, I'll introduce my friend Sandra. If you'll come up here. Oh, yeah. Come on up here. Get out of here. Come on up Yeah. So Sandra um, used to be with the American Cancer Society. So she has she has been to our coffees and been part of our events. But um, a lot of you are probably aware that in my 11 years, off and on, we have worked really well with the other chambers. And so Sandra is here as the Eden Chamber Director. So you want to tell me a little bit about what you have going on? Yes. Um, I, as she said, my name is Sandra Meadows. I'm the new Executive Director as of March the 16th. I did officially take the position on. I'm um, very excited. Uh, we have a lot going on with the Eden Chamber. Our, I'm just going to talk briefly about the next event that we have going on is Sip and Shop. It's going to be on May the 14th. Um, we're going to showcase our uptown businesses, which most of you guys know is downtown. So it's off Washington Street. And um, I look forward to working with Diane. I definitely want to rekindle um, our relationship countywide. Uh, so I look forward to seeing, hopefully, you guys more often and working with you. Thank you. Thank you. We just had a very successful countywide ribbon cutting yes. last week. Yes. So, um, we were planning some other events together, and you, you all will hear about that. Um, okay, so I don't have any more on my list. Anybody else representing a new business or not been to coffee before? Oh, Tim. 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 Yes, you were on my list, too. <laughs> you said behind Richie, so I can't see you. Richie. Uh, Tim Davis. I recently started with uh, Peter McKinnon and uh, uh, tech, tech Authority. Been part of this community pretty much all my whole life. So uh, just changing, uh, changing careers. Hopefully, I can prosper. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> can I say something? Yes, please. Tim was the quarterback of one of the best recreational football teams in the region. All the glory days. <laughs> Last chamber coffee, we did board members, but I want to go around the room really quick and do ambassadors. And I'm gonna start in the corner over here. Uh oh, I'm gonna start in the corner over here with uh, with Lieutenant Evid in the corner. Yeah, she did her turn last time. So, um, you want to tell us who you are? And what you're I'm doing? Chuck Evid. I'm a lieutenant of sports service and community police with Bridge Police Department. And back, glad to be back at the ambassador. Uh, we'll turn around for a brief absence, so we look forward to, to getting back to Boston. So. Next, Tracy. I'm Tracy Crowder. I'm an insurance agent at Tyler Barefoot. I've been there for about 10 years. I'm looking forward to getting back to Boston. Um, I'm also an assistant chief of police for the Tyler Police Department. I'm also an assistant chief of police for the Tyler Police Department. I'm also an assistant chief of police for the Tyler Police Department. I'm also an assistant chief of police for the Tyler Police Department. I'm also an assistant chief of police for the Tyler Police Department. I'm also an assistant chief of police for the Tyler Police Department. I'm also an assistant chief of police for the Tyler Police Department. I'm also an assistant chief of police for
Um, we'll hear more on what First Citizens Bank. I am a Rockingham County man. It's been here my whole life. Been with First Citizens now here at Regional for six years. Uh, been an ambassador for five, and just stepped up to the board this year. Mm, Frank, you're next. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frank Birdie, um, I'm an ambassador. Yes, you are. <laughs> he delivered a lot of directories. We did. We, yes, we did. We, yes. With Gordon that, Murray was a, yeah, that was a right. tag team effort. You I, already did your thing, I do so. think we have a, yeah. a record for the most in the shortest amount of time. But I do think so. I don't know. We, it was we, pretty we quick. Yeah. Tag I'm a team. Max, just um, frenemies with Eden. So <laughs> just call us both and we'll, we'll hash it out, arm wrestle for your business kind of thing. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I want to see that. I want to do that out here. Uh, Dylan. Hey everyone, I'm Dylan. I'm representing Spring Print Plus. It's a family business. They're already calling me right now. Where are you? They called me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, they didn't even know this was happening. So I, they they have a good representative. <laughs> do these things. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. And he's working with us on a really great project. We are working on our promotional items that are going to be in the visitor center. So yeah. that is, uh, if you see us talking about that, we are excited. Tori, oh. you're next. Um, I'm Tori Pascal. I'm a mortgage loan officer. I'm based out of Greensboro, but I live here in Reedsville. So I'm looking forward to meeting all of you at some point. And yeah, if you need a mortgage, let me know. <laughs> Can I step in for one? Yeah, sure. Uh, Sarah Alcorn. Yep. She is an ambassador. I think there was some confusion with email, so she did not get the email in time to be here. She already had appointments, but she'll be here next week. Yeah, time. awesome. And we're she's excited. representing um, Alcorn Custom Woodworking. I did that because it is very important to us. We are a very small staff, and our ambassadors and our board members are an extension. And so these faces you need to know because you will continue to hear and see um, more from them. I hope that you all received your directories. Um, we are, Robbie left, but Robbie was um, the one who really came up with the idea a couple years ago to blitz over a couple of days and make sure that everybody got theirs. Um, so, you know, we are, we are thankful, but if you did not, we have them, and Star will get you one or Debbie will get you one before you leave, because it should have included um, your new member sticker, so. Um, all right, so a couple other things. Let's see, did I miss anybody else who wanted to speak? Oh, I know the next thing. If you'll step up here, ma'am. This doesn't happen often, but our member of the month for April is here for April Coffee. So, Wendy, would you tell us a little bit about Help Incorporated, who is our member of the month? Yes. Well, first of all, I'd just like to say hi to everybody. This is the first coffee that I've actually attended. Um, but Help, Help Incorporated did receive member of the month, and so grateful. That was a surprise, a really nice surprise. Um, this month, I would like to just kind of throw out there is National or yeah Child Abuse Awareness Month. It's also um, National Sexual Assault Month. So, uh, Help Incorporated is building our new FJC building, and actually, it's finished. We're just in the process of getting things moved and closing. We're very excited about that. There will be an open house. Would love for you all to come out and visit and and see the new facility. It will be very nice. Sheriff Sam Page, he's uh, an ex officio board member for our agency. And just um, for all of your support and everything that you do, we appreciate you. I appreciate you. And I need to get with everybody. I just assumed the role as outreach director in October. Um, I was actually, prior to this position, I was over the shelter, shelter services. So I'm still getting uh, used to everything. Very different. Yeah. Very different. With outreach, it's kind of, I'm, I'm in charge of resale shops, which we had a resale shop here at one point. We'd love to get back here at some point. But we do have a resale <coughs> shop in Madison and in Eden. So, I know, I, I need to give you my email. Spot, you don't even think yeah. That. If you guys want to hear her speak, she's actually our lunch and learn next Wednesday at 11.30 to 12.30 at the Eden Chamber. Yeah. Like, oh, no, yeah, yes. and I need to get share my emails with you all. But yes, the lunch and learn is going to be from our agency. M Melissa McClary is over our child advocacy. She's our forensic interviewer, and she's going to be presenting at the lunch and learn. So, I just appreciate it so much. Yes, ma'am. So Thank much. you for coming. This and if morning. I haven't met you, eventually I will. Uh, <laughs> our staff is going to rotate so that with more of our faces are known. So that you feel comfortable talking to any of us at the yeah. agency. 
If y'all were here last month, you probably remember hearing from Chrissy Griffin, who was here. So yeah, awesome. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So we have a few ribbon cuttings that I want to announce really quick. Um, Scale Street Music, which was purchased by Red Hill Dome, um, Rachel will be their, their ribbon cutting will be on the 21st at 12 p.m. Um, Cecil, I cannot believe it's not here, but I think he's out of town. Um, and so his path, Mount Jubilee Ministries, is going to have their ribbon cutting at Mission First on the 26th. And then we have two June ones coming up, Southern Dates. It'll be here at the Chamber Office. And then Home Star Financial will be here at the Chamber Office. Um, and those are both in June, so we'll, you'll be getting your emails and text messages. Um, speaking of that, if you have not signed up for a text message, please see me when you leave here. They are re re very helpful reminders um, of events that are coming up. Those are not usually meant to register you or tell you about it way ahead of time. They're meant to be like, a, oh, I need to wrap this meeting up and go to this event. So um, if you want to be a part of that, we have two different lists, one for the chamber events only and then one that is for like the community events. I'm really excited to announce that staff appreciation is coming up. That is going to be on Wednesday, April 27th from 11 to 2. It's going to be out here in the parking lot like we did last time. There will be a drive through I know that a lot of you folks are still short staffed um, and cannot come out. It will be from 11 to 2 and the fact that you might be able to rotate um, and get out. But it is sponsored by Workforce Unlimited. Um, and we are going to have outdoor seating. So if you do want to come and join us, we are going to celebrate. We are going to have music. Um, we're going to have our bistro set up. You could eat at Kelly's Way or you could eat back here at the picnic tables at Lucky City because we have partnered with them to offer that. So if you want to come and sit down or bring staff or come yourself, we have that option. But if you want to just come pick it up, it will be a box lunch from Cafe 99. We will also have Kona Ice that day. So your ticket includes um, a visit to Kona Ice. So if nothing else brought you, hopefully Kona Ice did because that seems to be the thing. Um, Lunch will be provided by Cafe 99, and when you register, it's very important. You get one of four choices, and you, you must pick. So when you get ready to register, hopefully you're going to log in on the computer and do that. It will force you to pick. Um, if you're a chamber champ or a sponsor and you have tickets for that and you have any questions, please email me, and I will help you sort that out. Um, also, I am super excited that the Regional Night at the Greensboro Grasshoppers is back. Um, that is sponsored by WLC Forklift. Um, Willie loves that event, and he has been um, a faithful sponsor of that for years. They're going to be playing the Asheville Tourist. Um, that is on Friday, May 6th at 6.30. You must RSVP by Friday, April 22nd to get a t-shirt. We are bringing the t-shirts back, so it'll be a t-shirt and a ticket for $12. Um, four and under are free to the park, so if you don't want to pay for a child that's four and under, you have to put them in your lap. They don't get a seat, and they won't get a t-shirt. So if you want them to have a t-shirt, you need to come through the chamber and get um, that ticket. Let's see if I am missing anything else. I'm sure I am, and Debbie did such a good job on putting my events and stuff together that she's probably looking at me going, you're missing stuff. I knew I was. There's a job fair coming up at RCC, um, and that's going to be held at the gymnasium there, and that is next week, the 13th, from yep, on Wednesday from 10 to 4. Um, also, the second downtown Fridays are coming back. You just came from a from a meeting about that. We're good. Those are happening. Yes, ma'am. Starting in May. Um, May and where's our base? Is it at Market Square? Market Square. So yes, Market Square will be kind of. Um, unfortunately, we typically have those events right here in the center, but if you've noticed there's a lot of fencing uh, near Old Park. There's a sinkhole. <laughs> So um, council has voted to put a lot of money into the downtown project, but also to fixing the sinkhole, and that is going to be at some point getting torn up and worked on. So we had to move this season's events down the road a little bit. Um, so we'll be there, and that starts on May 13th. Also save the date. I have, um, I'm really excited about the annual awards luncheon. It's, yay, it's finally going to happen. We're going to be on the lawn at the penthouse on Wednesday, May 18th. Um, I would love to see all of you there. We have to give Mr. City his really big send-off for being the chair for the last, as he would tell you, 100 years. It's not true, but um, it is the last several years. Um, he carried us through um, a really tough time. Um, he carried us through moving into this building. He signed the closing papers on this building when we purchased it. Um, he was a big part of Home Trust being the sponsor for the lobby and then all the other things. Um, and so we um, really appreciate him and we're gonna really be celebrating him that day. So hopefully you all can come to that and get that on your calendars. Um, there'll be more info coming out. 
um, on that. So, is that all my stuff? Am I missing anything? And the next coffee. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Would you like to tell us about Sure, we'll be at Covington Wesley Church out on Bay Street Extension, and uh, looking forward to that um, next month. Next month? No, yeah. Yes, maybe. So it'll happen. Cinco de Mayo. Something's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah bring your Spanish speaking abilities. Yeah, that's right. No. <laughs> I also want to say thank you to the Chamber and to the community for our pancake supper with the Kiwanis Club. Uh, that just was way better than we thought. And uh, it was going to be, and so we are grateful. We've raised some good money, of course, with that, and are, are uh, really, again, just appreciate everybody coming and, and being a part of that. And it's our first year back in person, and uh, so anyhow, all that good stuff. So, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I had a selfish member plug. Um, on the same night as the Pancake Supper, I was able to attend my first show at the Showcase Theater mm -hmm. to see Colin Ray, and it was phenomenal. Um, we had front row seats and as everybody said we could basically see his nose hairs. I mean we were that close to him. Um, but it was it was really awesome. And selfishly that uh, country's 90 y'all I can't talk today. 90s country is one of my favorite, not all of it, but one of my favorite genres of music and so selfishly I'd love to see that be successful but also from a chamber perspective this could really be a catalyst for our downtown. They just finally had their first sold out show with Terry Clark. Um, and that's amazing because their other theater did not do that that quickly. Um, so thank you for those of you that have supported that. I saw a ton of familiar faces and um, you know, we just, we had a great time. And they've got some really good shows coming up. If you like bluegrass, if you like um, gospel, they've had uh, several different acts, but those are kind of the three genres that they do. So um, thank you all for that because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's kind of fun for us. Like, Star and I keep all day because the buses roll up and the vehicles roll up and they take up Gilmore and we're like, ooh, ooh. Like, I was like, there's Colin Ray and his hoodie. Like, he's, you know, and they have this, like, car that they take them around places and we know that car now. So um, it's kind of funny. Like, I don't know. I just get starstruck, I guess. But you got to think, like, that's what I grew up listening to. So um, that's. I think all of my announcements, so I'd like to turn it over to the floor for announcements from you all. I know we covered a lot of them just because you were new and that sort of thing. But does anybody have any events or anything that they have for the greater good, or do we cover it all? May 7th is the month of the Rose Yes. Derby for Health Incorporated in our programs. So if you don't know anything about that, you can go to Facebook and look up Run for the Roses. It's, it's May 7th. So at Wright Memorial Center. And you can go to either of the retail shops, either in Madison or in Eden, to get tickets. You can go on Eventbrite. So if you're interested in that, you can see me or go to the page. I can give you more information. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. It's chamber chance time, guys. Uh, we talked about this last month, but I uh, just want to let you know uh, the new program begins July 1st, ends the end of June, is that June 30th next year? Um, we are selling that now. If you're ready and you know what you want to do or you want to talk about some new things this year, please reach out to me. I'm, I'm getting to folks. I'm just kind of going down the list, but if you want to go ahead and take care of that, just give me a call and we will do it. And uh, I know we have a showcase coming up in the fall. It looks like mm -hmm. I'm going to need a sponsor for that, so I just wanted to put that out there shamelessly. Um, so it's a great event. If anybody wants to talk about doing that, that would be fabulous too. And I did send out an email. If you're a chamber champ, did you get that yesterday? I'm just making sure, like, that that happened. Okay, because it was like crickets, and I was like, oh. I was like, okay. So I didn't know, but it was late in the afternoon, so I didn't know if, it, if that actually, like, happened or if it got stuck in my inbox. Okay, awesome. Anybody else? The Reasonable YMCA and the Rec Department both need, are in great need of coaches for kids' sports. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you're really good at that or have never done it, either way, they can use your help. <laughs> and I will tell you my favorite thing to tell people when recruiting coaches is the coach part. People will say, oh, I don't know the game really well. It doesn't matter. The coach <laughs> needs to know that they can be organized, they can communicate with the parents and do all that, you will have a parent on that team who will help you. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, nobody wants to be a coach, and then 
the season starts and everybody wants to be a coach. So, I mean, that's how it works. So, <laughs> that's just how rec ball works. So, um, you know, if you can find in your heart to coach a group of kids, it's more about being organized and being the leader for that group. The so. three and four year olds could care less. Nope. They just love the fact they're running. And yep. They need <laughs> that's pretty much how it works. Yep. Even the five and six year olds. Yep. Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to announce that we are overflowing with peanut butter eggs and coconut cream eggs. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> please, please eat. She will be upset when you leave if you don't eat. Please take them. Please. Make it to go play. Take them back to your office. Yeah. Anybody else? Diane, if I could say. Yes, sir. I'm Donald Gorham, mayor of the city of Breezeville, for those of you who might not know. And I want to let you know that we are a true partner with the chamber. And if there's ever anything you feel like the city might be able to help you with, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Yes, sir. We do that on a regular, don't we? We do that. <laughs> I know it's 366 612 And it's on the record, just like last time. I told you. Let me put my church hat back on just a okay. second. Uh, Don, I appreciate your help, Mr. Warren. And, uh, he came to some of us a few weeks ago. And I uh, wanted to have a public prayer for Ukraine. And uh, so we're going to do that next Tuesday at noon uh, at City Hall. And uh, so we encourage you, if you're interested in that, and uh, that fits your faith model, uh, we certainly would invite you to come and be a part of that. And uh, I appreciate the city supporting that. Uh, thank you, Bob. Well, thank you. We're over time, so I mean, I just want to, I'm just looking to see any faces. I'm trying to make eye contact with everybody. Go on. <laughs> no all right well thank y'all great coffee um we've got door prizes now so where is my little handy we'll draw a couple door prizes how many do we have five including her mm -hmm. okay diane <laughs> You were a winner. What? what? <laughs> That's very awesome. Rick McKinney, hey. you are a winner. Hey. Oh, and look, there's my child. <laughs> Oops. Which one's yours? <laughs> the one on the end when she's real little. Uh, that was kindergarten beach trip. Um, Edward Prairie. Yay. Yay. Um, you Five million. Wow. Got a good quarter. Yeah, the Amen quarter. That's right. I hear you. And Tracy Crowder. Oh, oh, thank you. Wow. Thank you. 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 Thank you.